Morning everybody and welcome to Friday morning and uh, it's just another one of those beautiful balmy and slightly overcast um, mornings as I make my way down onto the beach without breaking my neck. <laughs> um, one of those, yeah, just flat mornings I guess. And uh, just wanted to do a quick uh, look down if this works. My feet. What's important about my feet? Nothing. What's important about your feet? Probably nothing. Until you realise how long you've been on them. It's funny, from the very moment that we're born, we're fascinated by our feet. You watch babies playing with their own feet. And then we can't wait to get on them, to run around upright. And then after a long day of work and so forth, we can't wait to get off them. Um, and I'd hate to kind of add up the hours um, that I've spent on my own feet. Uh, and perhaps you could work out the math for yours too. And some of us spend longer on our feet than others. And, and if the national surveys are right and the estimations of people's uh, walking and habits and sedentary habits, some of us probably should now start to spend more time on our feet, walking further distances and being more mobile and so forth. But I wanted to just read from Isaiah 52, and it starts in, this morning's reading starts in verse 7, because it talks about feet. And it says this, How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of the messenger who brings the good news, the good news of peace and of salvation, the news that the God of Israel reigns. The watchmen shout and sing with joy, for before their very eyes they see the Lord returning to Jerusalem. Let the ruins of Jerusalem break into joyful song, for the Lord has comforted his people. He has redeemed Jerusalem. The Lord has demonstrated his holy power before the eyes of all the nations. All the ends of the earth will see the victory of the Lord. It's fascinating that um, he uses that to start with feet. How beautiful are the feet of those on the mountain who, who take the good news, who proclaim salvation, that the Lord reigns, that the that mighty God is in control. And it reminds me of another text found in Matthew chapter 28, written, written centuries after Isaiah wrote that, where Jesus says, go, go and baptize in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go to all of the nations. Teach them in the way that they should go. You might not think too much of your feet, you know, cursorily, you know, every now and then you remember to cut your toenails if you're a bloke. We don't spend a lot of time with our feet. But they're important because they're part of the gospel ministry. They're important to take us somewhere in some capacity to share the gospel somewhere today. We're asked to get up and go. And those feet are considered beautiful, the ones that take the gospel. They're, they're, they're mentioned specifically. Sandals on the feet, you know, the sandals of peace in the armour of God. To to take something somewhere the, the gospel message has to go now yes okay you could argue that the gospel message can be done behind a keyboard and we can do evangelism and ministry from a computer desk and online and through zoom yes that's possible but there's nothing like good old face-to-face -face contact there's nothing like good old getting up and walking across the road to the neighbor or walking down the street to visit or to go somewhere I don't know where the Lord's asking you to go today, but he's certainly asking us to go somewhere. But importantly, we first have to understand why we're going, where we're going, and who we're going for. I don't know where the Lord wants to take you today or for the rest of your life, but listen for his voice because the message is clear. The Lord God has redeemed us and he reigns. And that is what we are marching towards to celebrate um, 
each Sabbath we celebrate the proclamation of that message. This Sabbath we're going to pro proclaim the first advent of Christ and why that was important for the history of the world and the history of humanity. That's the message we're proclaiming. So, take a pause right now. Look down at your feet while I pray and contemplate where the Lord is asking you to go. Father in heaven, Lord, thank you for the majesty and the beauty of this day. Thank you for your presence that is ever present in it. And thank you for your presence in our lives. And Lord, as we seek to understand where you want our feet to go, we just pray that your Holy Spirit encourage us and that the knowledge of what Jesus has done for us be firmly and permanently cemented in our hearts. Lord, I pray that you guide us through this day. Help us to bless others as we have been blessed. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. My friends, I'm going to take these feet, these ones down here, and I'm going to take them over here. They just feel the nice, soothing, relaxing feeling of the water. Now, I'm sorry if this makes some of you a bit jelly, but you can always get up and go and find a little beach like this whenever you knock off or whenever you start work or whatever you've got going for the day. And just, um, yes, that's very nice. So until I see you all, take care, God bless, and I'll see you soon.